how are you today? I am doing well. I have been doing a little bit of grocery shopping-ish today. Um, I think I'm probably the last person to really get on the Ibotta app train um, or the Checkout 51 train. I guess I'm, you know, kind of late to the party. Um, anyway, my sister told me about this app a long time ago and I actually downloaded it on my phone but I really just never used it um, because basically you have to buy these certain products in this one week time frame and it seemed like whenever the deals were being offered I didn't need those products so I just never really took advantage of it well since I have some extra time this week since I am on a break from work I thought I would try this out and I thought I would do kind of a grocery shopping tiny little trip um, just especially for the app just to see if it was even user friendly or to see if I could even figure out how to use it um, so if you don't know what I bought it is which I'm sure you do because like I said I think I'm the last person on earth to get this app um, anyway it's an app that you download for free and you can get it on Android or iPhone and basically um, it just has products and if you buy those products at certain stores and you upload your receipt, you basically get money back and um, through Ibotta you can either put the money into your PayPal account or you can get other items like Starbucks gift cards um, and things like that. So I guess I thought I would try it. I had a lot of um, just extra coupons for these items and so I thought if I would use a coupon on them and get the money back from Ibotta I, I thought it would be a pretty good deal and I, I'm pretty satisfied with how it turned out I think this is pretty good for me for my first experience using the app and my first try at doing this so if you have not downloaded Ibotta you are a newbie just like me um, I can just tell you about my first time using it and I think it's actually a pretty good deal I think I'll be using it more often now that I think I kind of have the hang of it there's another um, app like Ibotta and it's called checkout 51 um, and basically it does the same thing that Ibotta does, but it offers, you know, different amounts of money for different products. So I guess you could check that one out too, um, and kind of see how that goes. Um, there were a couple of things on the app that I actually like and products that I use. And I thought, well, I might as well just buy them now. Um, because Ibotta was offering something on them um, just because I wanted to try the app and see how it worked. So basically the first time you use the app it gives you um, like the first time you upload a receipt it gives you two free dollars so I got my two dollars because it's my first time using it today um, and basically everything that I bought that I'm about to show you cost nineteen dollars and twenty one cents so less than twenty bucks um, and I basically got like five dollars back um, yes I got five dollars back so I guess if you count that money off that I got back it actually cost fourteen dollars and twenty one cents which I think is a good deal for the amount of items I got um and I think every little bit helped so this is just something I thought I would try and so let me kind of show you what I did okay um so the first thing that I bought I was offering a rebate on um was the Belvita soft bake um breakfast biscuits I guess is what they're called I eat just the regular blueberry Belvitas all the time I eat them for lunch I eat granola bars and these for lunch all the time because I really don't get much of a lunch break at all so if I can you know eat something like this really quick it usually will help tie me over till the end of the day so anyway I stock up on granola bars or things like this if I can ever get them on a discount um, these were $2.98 at my Walmart um, and there was a coupon a while back you'll have to look at up that was a dollar off two of them um, and then I bought it was giving back 75 cents so I was able to earn 75 cents back and then I also used the coupon just to make it a little bit cheaper um, so that was just kind of the first thing I got um, now I should have only gotten one of them or 
or you really only have to get one box to get the Ibotta rebate, but the coupon that I had was off of two, and since I eat these so much, I went ahead and got two. Um, if I would have just got the one box, you can still get the rebate, but you also couldn't use the coupon since it was off of two boxes. Um, so I went ahead and got two just because um, it's banana bread, and I actually ate one of these already. I ate one for lunch today to try them out because I haven't tried the soft baked ones, um, and it was actually pretty good, so I was pleasantly surprised with the taste. Alright, so next up is something I'm kind of excited about because I wanted to try this for a while. Um, if you watched a video that I uploaded recently, I went to Target and I bought some of the liners for your slow cooker. I believe they're by Reynolds Wrap. Um, and I use my crock pot all the time. Um, it's just a lifesaver. I cook probably at least once a week in it. Um, so I got some of those liners where you don't have to clean it and you just take the bag out and throw it away. And so I actually got these um, and I'm I'm super excited about these. I've actually had a coupon for these for a while, but I just haven't thought to get them when I've been at the grocery store. Um, anyway, these are the Campbell's Slow Cooker Sauces, um, and they also have the Skillet Sauces. Um, and these are, let's see, these were $1.99 at my Walmart and I've really wanted to try these because basically from what I understand you put the meat in the crock pot you pour the sauce over it and then you just let it cook all day and then when you come home you can make like instant rice or you can make noodles depending on you know what what it is um, and you pretty much have a meal ready so I'm really excited to see if the marinades are good now they didn't have much choice at my store everything was for beef um, and I have a freezer full of chicken right now um, my uncle works at Tyson and and he gave me like probably a hundred pounds or more of free chicken um, because he got it from his job and he's a bachelor so he couldn't eat it and so I have a deep freeze so I had the room for it so I have so much chicken right now it is crazy um, so I'm thinking I wanted only sauces that had to do with chicken um, so I got these three and they were $1.98 I had a dollar coupon for each which made them each 98 cents um, and actually on one of them because I bought it only gives you a rebate on one item so you don't get it for multiples if you get you know more than one um so they were offering let's see i think 75 cents yeah 75 cents back so that earned me you know close to another dollar so i got this one this is moroccan spiced stew with green olives and lemon that sounds a little bit odd but it might be good um and then this one's just a sweet and sour chicken and this one you put in the skillet and toss it in the skillet um so also you know just like a quick meal so i'm kind of excited because i've really wanted to try these and i'm hoping that they're good all right so the next two items I didn't know how I really felt about them, but they were cheap, so I thought I'd give them a try. Um, these are Fiber One fruit snacks. Sounds kind of gross to me. Um, I'm not really a fan of like the vitamin gummies. They usually kind of gross me out. Um, but these are just, you know, gummies and they have fiber in them. I did give one a try on my ride home because I was kind of hungry. It was about lunchtime and they really just taste like regular gummies. So I think if you had a kid, they wouldn't really know the difference. Um, and they really, really taste just like any regular gummy snack. So I'm pleasantly surprised that they're not gross. Um, anyway, these are on sale at Walmart for $2. I don't know if that's the price all the time. Um, basically, on one box if you just go and buy one you get a rebate from I bought it and it is I believe 75 cents back so it would make it like a dollar 25 um, and there was actually a coupon in this Sunday's paper for 50 cents off two so instead of just buying one box again I bought two so that I could use the coupon um, and these are just snacks to have around the house so you can't really go wrong with these whether you have adults or kids at your house um, and so I got a so a couple cents back on Ibotta for buying one of these. The other one I didn't get anything back, but it allowed me to use my coupon. So I went ahead and picked up two boxes of those. All right, and the last two things that I got, um, if you bought two of the Glade Wax Melts, um, Ibotta gave you back, I think, 75 cents? 
Yeah, they, they gave you back 75 cents and I burn these things all the time. I'm such a candle burner and like a tart burner. So you can never have too many of these. And a couple of weeks ago I had a coupon that was $1.50 off two if you got the spring collection. So just if you have that, make sure you get the spring collection scents, which I think these two, the Live Loud and the Lift Off are the only two spring scents in the um, wax melts. And I can, let me tell you, like I can smell these through the bag they smell so good like I'm gonna trade out my wax burners tomorrow um, and they're you know for spring I'm ready for spring so um, these were $2.98 but that would make it six dollars I had the dollar fifty off of two which made it what four fifty and then I got the 75 cents back which made it like 375 for two which made them a lot cheaper so um, I think if you have a coupon for the items that I bought it is offering a rebate on you you can go ahead and use it and then you just get a little bit of money back um, so I ended up earning like five dollars and some change back for my bada for my first kind of you know practice here um, I also got some eggs which you know weren't an Ibotta item but I just needed some um, so all of this right here and then one just dozen eggs which was two bucks um, like I said that came to 1921 and then um, I got like five dollars back, so it brings it down to like fourteen twenty one for all of this. It's not just a whole bunch, and it's not just dirt cheap, but just something that I'm trying. Um, the app was fairly easy to use. You really just um, scan your receipts and you like scan the barcode to verify that you bought the correct item. Um, and I haven't redeemed it yet, just because it's my first time using it. So I haven't tried to redeem it for you know a gift card or for money. So I don't know how easy that is. Um, but using the app was really pretty easy. So you might want to check it out just if you're trying to save money. Um, so that was just like away I got some groceries today and saved a little bit of money. Um, have you used the iBot app? Do you know if it's easy to actually redeem your money and actually get the money back because I haven't done that yet? Do you think it's really worthwhile? It's not amazing savings but I think it's okay so I tried it out and we'll see if I continue using it. Who knows? Um, so I'll see you next time ladies. Bye!